What's up guys, we're here in Saranda, Albania, and in this video we're going to show you the best things to do in and around the city. It's become a really popular destination in recent years thanks to its beautiful beaches and budget travel options, so I hope you enjoy this video. We are Zach and Ina, full-time digital nomads from the United States and Belgium. We met while studying abroad in 2018 and have been traveling the world together ever since. We're here to inspire your next adventure, whether it's hiking in the Canadian Rockies, a road trip through the US, or backpacking across Africa. On our channel, you'll find unfiltered videos of hiking guides and the best things to do in destinations around the world. Soranda is a coastal town on the Albanian Riviera, along the Ionian Sea. It's the largest city in southern Albania, and only a 30-minute ferry ride from the popular Greek island of Corfu. In recent years, Saranda has become a popular tourist destination thanks to its easy access, affordability, and strategic location to discover other beaches and historic sites from. The city itself is very lively, with tons of entertainment options throughout the day and the night. However, the popularity of Saranda has also led to large crowds flocking to its beautiful beaches. This can be a bit overwhelming, especially during the summer months. In this video, we highlight the best things to do in and around Saranda. And we'll also give you our top travel tips throughout the video, so you know what to expect and can have the best experience possible. So let's dive in. The first thing you should do when you get to Saranda is walk its boulevard. It stretches for about one kilometer along the Horseshoe Bay. Fringed with lush palm trees, it's a beautiful pedestrian walkway and a true hub of entertainment. There are plenty of bars and restaurants here, with great Mediterranean and international food options, some of which turn into clubs at night. But there's also a ferris wheel and a small entertainment park to enjoy. The promenade comes alive in the evenings. Albania has a rich food culture, influenced by Italian, Greek, and Balkan traditions. Each region has its own specialties, and Saranda in particular is famous for its fresh fish and seafood. Other dishes you should try are the baked lamb with yogurt, Albanian pie, and baked cheese. Saranda is full of restaurants, and you can find food at almost every corner of town. We recommend eating at a traditional Albanian restaurant at least once. About 22 kilometers or 13 miles inland from Saranda sits one of Albania's most popular tourist attractions. The Blue Eye is a freshwater spring, known for its stunning beauty and clear, turquoise water. The source is a natural phenomenon, with oxygen bubbles rising up from a karst hole with more than 50 meters of depth. There's a viewing platform above where you can observe the event. The nature surrounding the river and spring is absolutely gorgeous. You can book a half-day guided tour to the Blue Eye via the link in the description below. So you're not actually allowed to swim at the Blue Eye itself, but you can come down to this restaurant, it's like 50 meters away, and you can swim here. There's a nice little spot, but keep in mind that it's 10 degrees Celsius, the water, which is about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's pretty cold. Saranda is surrounded by tall hills, offering spectacular views over the city, as well as the neighboring Greek island of Corfu. One of the best views can be observed from Le Corsi Castle, dating back to Albania's early Ottoman times. And while there aren't many remains left, the castle boasts some of the best sunset views in the area. Inside the castle is a restaurant with an enormous outdoor terrace. It's a great spot for dinner or drinks while watching the sunset into the sea. Thank you. 
Saranda's main beach is located in the bay, and it's a public one. One unfortunate thing we noticed along the Albanian Riviera is the privatization of its beautiful beaches. Over the last decades, one after the other has been developed for tourists, with immense amounts of sunbeds and umbrellas as a result. We heard from locals that they're trying to tackle this issue, so there may be more public spaces in the near future. Luckily, Saranda's main beach is public, so there's no fee to relax here next to the calm blue waters. However, it's recommended to bring a cushion or thick towel because the beach has many pebbles. Located about 18 kilometers or 11 miles south of Saranda, Butrint National Park is an absolute must visit. Sitting next to a picturesque lagoon, this UNESCO World Heritage Site dates back to as early as the 12th century BC. But what makes this site special is its mix of different cultures who left a mark on the city, such as the Greeks, Romans, and Venetians. Elements of these cultures are visible in the archeological site today, such as the Roman theater, the Venetian castle, and the Great Basilica. To get to Butrint, it's best to take a bus from Saranda Port, which takes about 45 minutes. Check out the bus schedule via the link in the description. Saranda takes its name from the Monastery of the Forty Saints, which is located on the hills behind the bay. Constructed in the 400s, this Eastern Orthodox monastery was once an important pilgrimage site. Today, the monastery is in a state of ruin due to war damage. However, the views over Saranda are absolutely stunning from here, making it worth a visit. So one thing we're always missing at these historical places is actually like a board with information on it. So it's best to just like look it up beforehand on the internet or while you're here as well on your phone, just from a reputable source so that you can at least learn something about these places. There are tons of other natural attractions and beautiful beaches to explore to the north and south of Saranda. However, keep in mind that many of the beaches are private, so it's best to do your homework before. A place we would avoid during the summertime is Ksamil Beach, as it gets extremely crowded. A few public beaches that we really enjoyed include the beach of Himara and Porto Palermo. At the latter, there's also a castle you can visit. Other beautiful places include Dermi, Logara National Park, and Jipe Canyon and Beach. Our favorite thing to do from Saranda is to go on a day trip to the astonishing town of Girocaster. Located about 55 kilometers or 34 miles inland from Saranda, Girocaster is filled with incredible culture and history. The ancient town center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of its remarkable blend of Ottoman and Byzantine architecture. And while strolling through the streets is an experience in itself, it's the fortress that towers above the center that is the star attraction. We recommend getting a guided tour of the Girocaster highlights to truly understand the history and culture here. Find a link for the tour we did in the description below. And while it's possible to visit for the day, we highly recommend staying at least two days here if you can. Check out our full Girocaster video for more things to do. One way to escape the crowded beaches near Saranda while still experiencing the clear blue waters of the Albanian Riviera is to go on a boat tour. There are many agencies that offer tours in the Bay of Saranda on the boulevard. Our boat tour took us to a number of unspoiled beaches. We were allowed to jump off the boat at some of them, while others were just to admire the crystal waters. For the final stop of our tour, we arrived at Quarez Beach, where we had a few hours to relax and swim. 
but keep in mind that you have to pay a fee to lay on the sunbeds here. And that's it for our video on Saranda. We hope you found it helpful, and you can find more videos in our Albania playlist. Make sure to check out the description of this video for all the important links that you'll need for your own adventure. Organize your trip around Albania with our comprehensive travel planner. It's interactive and easy to use. Get yours via the link in the description below and have it delivered to your inbox within minutes. We'll catch you on the next adventure.